Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are often talking about buying, you know, fashion, luxury items or bags here on YouTube, but we are rarely talking about selling them and the options that we have in this domain. In today's video, I really wanted to focus on the process and the options that we have, you know, if we want to sell one of our items that we no longer use. And I want to share my experience uh, on that domain with you. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. My name is Nicolas, I'm a 35 years old French located in California and I've created this platform a little bit less than a year ago to mainly talk about fashion, luxury items or bags. So if you, like me, like one of those topics, please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel. That way we can become internet friends. What inspired today's video is I'm actually in the process of selling one of my bags and you saw it in my um, 2021 bag collection. It is the Louis Vuitton milk box bag that I purchased in April 2020, so a little bit over two years ago now. It's in excellent condition and I really like this bag, but the reason why I want to sell it is I don't really reach for it anymore, to be, to be completely honest with you. There is a couple of, of, of reasons. So one of them, which is the biggest one I think, is the monogram of this bag. I kind of have a hard time to, with logo right now and with um, accessories that scream the brand and luxury and, and money basically. First reason, although I still find the monogram very, very beautiful, it's just, I don't know, for this particular bag, for this particular shape, I have a hard time styling it and uh, wanted to wear it uh, on a day-to-day on -day basis. And the second point I would say why I want to sell this bag will be the size of it because it's kind of like this in between size where for my daily uh, life uh, during the day I would say it's difficult for me to reach for it compared to the other bag I have like the Louis Vuitton puzzle or the Hermes Kelly 35 and also for night it's a little bit on the bigger size to, to me at least uh, for me to want to reach it so I don't really reach out for it on any occasion and although I really like it and I've used it I would prefer to sell it and use this money for a bag that I will use more. So that would be the main reason why I would like to um, separate myself from this beauty. I forgot to mention that I bought this bag so a little bit more than two years ago for a little bit less than 3k, Californian tax included. And that's important, you're going to see for the rest of the video when I'm going to tell you um, how much I can um, regroup for it. So because I wanted to sell this bag, I started to research my options as far as uh, where and how can I can I sell it. And obviously, the easiest and best option I would say is to sell the item uh, to someone that you know in your real life that wants it, because that way you are eliminating any third party involved in the process of selling the bag. So family or friends or you know anyone that you can dispatch directly would be obviously the easiest fastest probably and the most beneficial for you financially wise personally i don't have a lot of person involved in the luxury sphere or interested about luxury items around me so this will not likely be a good option for me but if this is your case go for it so the companies and the platform we are going to talk about more in details today are eBay, Bestiaire Collective, and then some consignment company as well, like The Real Wheel and Fashion File. I know this video is not sponsored by any of the companies I just mentioned, and obviously there is definitely more companies and platforms where you can you know, sell your bag, but I've only use the four I just mentioned. So that's why we're gonna focus on those ones in today's video. So let's start with the first one, which is eBay. So eBay is great on the seller point of view because they do not take any percentage of the sale to their own benefit. You will likely earn then more money compared to the other platform we're gonna talk about. So in order to sell your item, you just have to create you know, a profile on eBay 
and obviously upload some picture and some information about your item and up they will uh, basically put it on their um, on their website. So my bag is currently listed on eBay for 2800. I'm finding personally more complicated to bring visibility to an attraction to uh, and views to, to the item you are listing probably because it's a bigger in a weight site listing much more items and much more items than, than fashion for instance when they want to help you having your item being seen most they're asking you to fill more information to uh, give more um i will say uh, elements to describe your item and even when I've done that it's still a little bit complicated for my item to be pushed or to be seen so maybe not a lot of person are actually looking for a uh, Louis Vuitton milk box bag in, in eBay which is completely an option although I've seen uh, a couple before I posted mine a good thing with eBay is that you can allow the potential buyer to make some offer to, to your bag. So there is a limit that you can set that you don't accept any offers below this limit. And then people can uh, compete to each other. Let's not talk about Vestiaire Collective. So Vestiaire Collective is a French company. And I think it has been created in 2009. I kind of researched that right before filming this video. So the headquarters are in France. And they are specialized in selling and buying all kind of like fashion uh, items so it can be luxury items or or fast fashion or other type of, of, of fashion and find some brand new item you can also find some vintage items so really any type of, uh, of of goods like ebay in order for you to buy or to sell an item you need to create a profile which is very easy obviously they are making things very easy for you to buy and like again like ebay it's very easy to uh, upload you know the pictures and to put some information about the item you want to sell and then you just have to publish it they obviously have to review it and to approve it and then they will publish it to publish the item to their website so on vestiaire collective my bag is currently listed for 2790 and compared to ebay i've actually received a little bit more tractions there um, more people have added this item to their wish list to ask me questions. So this is actually, to my to my experience, if I have to compare those two platforms, eBay or Vestiaire Collective, Vestiaire Collective has definitely been more like active in terms of uh, of um, people interest in my in my bag. I was mentioning, and I'm looking here because I have like writing some notes about you know pricing and all of this. My bag is currently listing at twenty seven ninety on Versailles Collective and if I will sell this back today or tomorrow I will get $2371.50 which means that Vestiaire Collective is actually taking 15% out of the sale. Vestiaire Collective, the buyer is able to negotiate the price of this item and the seller is obviously able to refuse or accept this, uh, this offer. So again, I think that's a, that's a nice way for the buyer and the seller to have more interaction and discuss the price in a more um, uh, framed uh, way. So we just talked about eBay and Vestiaire Collective. Let's now talk about the consignment companies. So the consignment companies are companies that will evaluate uh, your goods, so mainly luxury items, it can be accessories, but also ready to wear, I think. They will evaluate these products and decide or not to list those items in their platform, website, or even in their stores. And obviously, they will take a percentage as well of the value of the item if they decide to list it. To talk about today and the first one I used was um, the Real Real. So the Real Real, and sorry again for the very French pronunciation here, it's difficult for me to say in English, but it's a Californian company and I think the headquarters are in San Francisco and now they kind of have stores a little bit everywhere in the US. I don't know if everywhere is the right word, but I know they have stores in California, I think in Chicago and in New York, maybe elsewhere. And so that's the first consignment companies I've, as, I've, I've asked to evaluate my bags. And the reason why is because they actually have like a physical store very close to where I live in Orange County. So they are in Newport Beach. 
Um, so I went there with some of my bags that I wanted them to evaluate, including obviously the uh, meal box from Louis Vuitton that I want to sell. If you go with them, don't hesitate to bring everything that you have deep with this bag. So I'm talking about bus bag, the box, the invoice, everything counts and can add a few hundred of dollars to your sale. So that's what I did, I bring everything. And they have evaluated this bag as a little bit less than 2,500. So remember, I told you I was I, I bought it for a little bit under three k. So honestly, I was not that surprised that two years later, not brand new, it was around twenty five hundred for for this one. So I was pretty happy about the evaluation value, I would say, for for this bag. So once the, the evaluation. Uh, was done. The person that was in charge of this came back to me with different options. Again, I'm going to look at my computer right there because I list everything. And I thought, I thought it was interesting for you to know exactly how much they will take with each and the different option that you have when you want to sell a bag with uh, some consignment companies. So the first option I had uh, was to consign my bag with them, meaning that they will take it, they will list it, but I will not get paid right away. I will only get paid once someone will actually purchase the bag. And I know that it can stay in line or in their store. Some of the products are exposed in their physical store for about a month. And then after one month, they can ask you to decrease the price or you know, see with you what you want to do as far as a, as a strategy. If you can be patient and you want to leave the same price for other months, that's possible too. But if you want to sell your bag faster, maybe it's a good option for you to decrease the price a little bit more. Everyone uh, can choose the best option that suits them the most. So that was my first option, to consign the bag with them and to get paid once uh, I will, um, once someone will basically purchase the bag. And for that, they will take 30% of the, of the sales. So remember, they evaluate my bag at 2,500. They will take 30%. So for this option, I will get around $1,750. The second option was to get paid by credit site. So meaning that I can, I'm giving them the bag. They are giving me some credit to use uh, in the real real website or in the real real store. And for that, they will take 35%. So they are taking a little bit more for this option. And the third and last option was to get paid now. So direct with direct deposit. But for this, they will take 40% of the value of the bag, which again, they have evaluated at 2,500. Meaning that I will have less than 1,500 now for this bag. And to be completely fair with you, I was not really satisfied with the money I can get uh, from, from those three options. Mainly because I'm not really in a rush to sell this bag. So I'd rather, you know, uh, maybe wait a little bit more and get more money out of it. But I think that's good that they have different options because if you are in a rush to get some cash, maybe getting the third option where you can get money right away, even if it's not as much as you wanted, um, can be something that can suit you, you know, for, for the situation you are in. And yeah, what will be a video in this channel without my dog in it, right? <laughs> so the second consignment option I have explored to sell my bag was Fashion File. Um, like the real, real Fashion File is a Californian consignment company. I believe their headquarters are in Carlsbad. Because they are partnering with Name and Marcus, they also have some physical presence where you can take a meeting and have your bag evaluated in real. Quite frankly, I tried to do that, but the lead time was pretty long, uh, maybe like a couple of weeks or three weeks. So I decided to just do the real real in life. So as far as my fashion file experience, honestly, it's gonna be a little bit shorter than the real real one because again, I didn't have like a physical meeting with them. It was all online. Online. So basically what I found is I submitted all of the pictures that they ask regarding my bags as well as some information and they get back to me then with a the code. Quite frankly, the code that they gave me was pretty low compared to what the real gave me and I remember it having not a lot of detail in it. So for example, I didn't know the value that they decided on these bags. It just gave me 
what they can purchase from me. And I think it was around 1400. So it was definitely too low for me to even consider it. And I honestly think that makes sense because I'm always browsing on the fashion file website. And I always thought that the price were pretty competitive. You know, I'm looking sometime at the Hermes one or the Chanel one, just, you know, uh, as a out of curiosity most of the time. And I always remember saying to myself, the price are pretty competitive. Obviously, they are not low because none of those pricing are, are low. But compared to other websites, I think they are pretty competitive. So now I kind of know why it's because uh, they are purchasing, they are asking for less, I think, than other websites. That way they can still protect their margin, but offer maybe more competitive pricing. I don't know, it's just like, you know, my two cents on it really. So I think long story short, what I wanted to share with you in this video is if you want to sell one of your bags, there is a lot of options available for you. If you can cut the middleman and not have any sub party involved in your sale, that's the best. And then it really depends on what is your situation really. If you are not in a rush, and if you are accepting to do more work by yourself, I think the platform like eBay or Vestia Collective can be the best for you because this is where you will uh, get more money out of your sale. But this, could, this can take a little bit longer. If you are more in a rush um, and you want to get more cash quickly, I think the consignment store like the Real Wheel or Fashion File are definitely um, a good alternatives. I hope this video has gave you more information at least that as far as options and in the different options which one can be the best for you. If you have more information, more tips, uh, please do not hesitate to share your point of view or anything you want to share in the comment down below. If you like this video, if so, please give me a thumb up. I really appreciate that. Don't hesitate to check my Instagram page. I post more often on this platform, It's obviously. Um, I also have a blog. I rarely mention that in this, uh, in this platform on YouTube. But my blog is really about, you know, travel and the different places I stayed at. You know, there really there is a place I will recommend. Could be Italy, could be the US, could be France. So if you are interested about this type of uh, content, please do not hesitate to check that. Other than that, I would really love if you subscribe to this channel. And uh, don't hesitate to let me know what you would like to see for your next video. My dog is getting crazy right now. It's been too long than feeding. <laughs> Uh, and other than that, I wish you a very good end of your day or beginning of your day, wherever you are in the world. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.